right, welcome back. Very nice interview with Tamara. Put it on, I'm the name of music. We get a lot of talented artists coming up for Inside Wobodo Nigeria. All we need to do now to just encourage them by their music. All right, time for us today, motivated. We get a Kajat guest in the house. She's a person where it gets accident two years ago. Now, that accident is supposed to turn her to something else, but she used them to turn and make her life day better. That's now why we bring her inside this house to explain to us how the process um, don't be for her. Join us, welcome Olivia Malaki inside the house. Good to have you, Olivia. Mm -hmm. Good to have you. Good to have you. Okay, so quickly, just for people wait just to see you for the first time, just briefly mm -hmm. tell us about. Um, the whole accident and how you don't manage start up something even after the accident. Okay, um, the thing no easy. I will tell you the truth. I will tell you the whole truth with it for the matter. You know, easy. Uh, now two years now I get this accident, and uh, life after the accident no just the easy. But I thank God. Say I don't get the strength to overcome all your challenges and all your difficulty. Because say that they call me superwoman. So that name don't help me to the go, to the live my life, my normal life the way I've been living. So So I would like to ask, before the accident you get two two um yes. functioning hands. Yes. But now the accident make and make you can't get one yes. functioning hand at this point in time. So how you they take um, what you don't you they do in the meantime? Because for Nigeria here, a lot of jobs, some people no go want take you because of this this according to them, they feel it's a disability. Yeah. Which some people people like you know they see them as any any disadvantage in any way. Now the problem we will get for this for, for this country now one problem we'll get they don't know the difference between amputate and disabilities. And put it and disabilities are not the same thing. Like as this thing don't do me now, I don't do a lot of things. I they wash my clothes by myself. I they do my makeup by myself. I they do everything by myself. So you where they see a man say this girl not disabled. Me, I don't sit that way. I don't sit that way because I have been doing a lot of things myself. So I have gone to a lot of places, I've given them my applications for job, but they don't want to offer me job because they feel I am disabled. So that is one of the major problems I am facing. It, now, is that, was that the reason why you can't start the business? No, before we talk about your business, Olivia, let's go back to the accident. Tell us more about this accident. Oh, uh, the accident occurred June, uh, May 6, 2016. I was going to Onicha. From? From over to Onicha. I don't even reach like 10 minutes where we started the journey. I don't know if the driver was drunk. I don't know what distracted him before everything just happened. And I saw myself this way. According to record, I was the only survivor. I was the only survivor. So it has just happened, and I've accepted myself. I have accepted my new me. So I was, I've accepted the way I am. I've accepted everything about the, the whole change. So nothing is weighing me down. OK, let's, let's, talk about, because I, we, let's talk about how you take accept the new you. Because I know, say, it's not that easy for a person getting two hands to later discover, say, the only one you get. How you take accept this new you? The way I accepted the new me is because of I knew where I was going to. I know my vision. I know what I want to achieve in life. So me looking at myself, me looking at my condition, me regretting anything will not make me achieve what I want to achieve. Will not make me get to where I want to get to. So that is why I accepted because I knew where I'm going to. So how you can't take the, the, um, discover your, you know, you discover the passion to know saying that this kind of thing as I want to do now, we are, are they in this kind of situation. Okay. How you take discover them after the accident? Because for a lot of people, when they go through this kind of thing, yeah. they, are, they, are, they, yes, they are devastated. Yeah. They're just there for that bottom, bottom part. You can't be like saying that they will gas for their junction. So but how you take manage, come above the water. Yeah. The side say so you go still stand out no matter what the devil won't push for your door. Ever before now, I have been those kind of person that I motivate people. Like, despite my age, I give a lot of people advice. So when this thing happened, I think it was a better platform for me to inspire people, for me to be an inspiration to people with the way I am now. So my one hand doesn't stop anything. So you having your complete hand shouldn't be an excuse. You having one hand shouldn't be an excuse for you to stay on the street and beg or for you to give up in life. So this thing has happened and it has given me another view of life 
to understand the world better, to understand that there's no giving up in life. Nothing will make you ever give up unless you decide to give up on yourself. Let me know about your immediate community because I know when things like this happen, yeah. if you say your family, if you actually contribute mm -hmm. to you getting and staying, staying and sad or happy, yeah. or your friends, if you actually just come out from your side because they're not one day associated, the person will get one hand. Yeah. Is that the case of Olivia? Yeah, I've had so many cases like that. Like when I had this incident, a lot of people I was working with, they had to leave because they'll be like, you're no longer the way you used to be. But one thing about me is that the word depression, I have never allowed it come into me. I have never allowed the word depression come into me. Because when you feel I can't live without you, I want to prove you wrong, that I can live without you, I can survive without you. The only person that has given me hope to, to always stand forever is my mom. She has been my source of hope and strength because she has never seen me break down. She has never seen me cry. I tell people that the only day I will break down is the day I see my mom cry. That is going to be my breakdown. Mm. But I don't want to see her cry. I don't want to see her depressed. I don't want to see her, see her facing any difficulty. That is why I'm strong. A lot of people come, they leave. But I pray and I wish the new ones are going to make impact in my life. Mm -hmm. I tell people that you're not my friend if you can't make a positive impact in my life. So those people that left, they are not my friends. They are left because they can't make any positive impact in my life. They will be there to mock me because they knew how I was before. So there's, there's now big room for new friends to come in. And you're welcoming new friends. Yes, I'm welcoming new friends. If you're there to create a positive impact into my life, we are friends. OK, so with this recent development now, what thing um, well, what you do now where you actually enjoy they do the most at this point in time? Um, one thing I enjoy doing or uh, one thing I like hearing about is when somebody say, wow, you motivated me. God, you're an inspiration. These two words keeps me going because whenever I say it, I see myself as being great. I see myself that I can make it. Is that the only thing you do now, motivation speaker? Because I know yeah. going through your, plat your yeah. profile, you are a makeup artist too. You see yeah. they do it with your one hand? Yeah, I see they do makeup with my one hand. People that ask confidence in me come and I do makeup for them. They're not they complain, say, oh, maybe you miss this part or you not miss that no, side. Oh, no, no, no. They make no. up with they don't before the accident. Yes. Oh, so after the accident, you still continue. Yeah, after the, the accident, I still continue. But then it was just like, not everybody wants to trust me, you understand? So not everybody is coming. So I don't see it as challenging because I believe that one day they will have confidence in me and they will come back. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, you don't ever get any day whereby you just sit down and regret, say, oh, I wish I had not travel, go this place, I will not get this accident. <laughs> um, like I said before, this is a better platform for me. I am not regretting anything. I've enjoyed using my two ham. I've experienced the both ham. So using this one now doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. Life is all about change. Life is all about challenges. So the way you overcome it is what really matters. This is such an inspiring story. I mean, just listening to it, I know, and, and a lot of people they watch too, they could just they wonder how, say, say you, you have such a strong, you're such a strong and brave woman. Yes, for you to go through this kind of thing. And I mean, even when people, they come, they work out, they go for your life, you just they tell them, no problem, oh, escort yourself out. You know the way out anyway. So as a makeup artist now, um, the business, how has it been? So uh, the business, like when I had this issue, in fact, I'll tell you the truth, I'll tell you the gospel truth. Things has not really been going out well the way I want. In terms of finance, because I need money to start up a business, I need money to write up my book, I need money to say a lot of things, but there's no finance right now to start up my business with my own name. So what I do now is... I just tell a few people that this is what I do. I call them and attend to you. After everything, they pay me. So right now, I'm not doing anything that is giving me money. I'm not doing anything that is giving me money. The only thing I do, like some people, they'll be like, oh, you inspired me. Can you send me your account number? They'll give me small thing. They'll give me something, and I appreciate that thing. So right now, I am not doing anything. But well, you're still passionate about the makeup. Yes, I am. I am. I am, because I want to write, I want to write the book. Yeah, book. I want to write my I book. And I've started working on it. Uh, Where's on how to overcome challenges and depression of like life. That. Olivia, I really appreciate your strength. I appreciate your positive um, um, personality where you actually get. Now, if person that watch you now, 
and they just feel say, oh, because of these challenges where I get, I need to give up on life. Oh. What do you go tell the person? I will tell the person that there's nothing in this life that will make you wanna keep, wanna, or that will make you wanna quit. I tell people that my two aim in life, my two rules is one, don't give up. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. Once you have life, you have hope, you have ability, you have everything that will make you become who you want to be. The only person that doesn't have hope is someone who is dead. A living dog is better than a dead lion. So don't give up on yourself if you have one hand, if you have one leg, if you have any challenge, any form of depression or any form of deformity. Don't give up. Just try and do something positive with, your, with yourself. You have a voice. Your voice can go very far. Use your voice. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Olivia Malaki, for coming inside the studio. We actually appreciate you. And we wish you all the best in your endeavors. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.